the progressives are a diverse group, which is why I want to kind of run through this with you for a moment. First off, who were the progressives? Well, historians are quite um, torn as to how to describe this very diverse group of people. They are generally what we call a group of reformers near the turn of the 20th century that were concerned with this changing society. They were worried about industrialism. They were worried about uh, political corruption. They were worried about what was going on in the cities, especially as tens of thousands of immigrants came over to the shores on a pretty much weekly basis. So who are they? Well, when we look at the progressives and we talk about progressive reformers, generally we are referring to the middle class. Now, let me remind you that at the turn of the century, the middle class was different than the middle class of today. We would probably today call them the uh, lower upper class. They are professionals. Women would not have needed to work outside of the home. Their husbands would have held some type of corporate job. Um, they might have been merchants. They might have been business owners themselves. Most of these reformers uh, were largely, they were women. Uh, they were uh, concerned with many things. One of the things that they mainly wanted to do was restrain corporations. They did not want to, they were not anti-capitalist in any way, shape, or form, but they wanted to make corporations accountable for their actions. They wanted to subject corporations to public control. They also had an urban focus. They were not concerned about primarily what was going on in the countryside. They were concerned about what was going on in the cities. This is where the heart of industry was, and this is where they were focused. They were also profoundly conservative. At their heart, they wanted to preserve democracy in a free marketplace. These are people who benefit from capitalism and from a free marketplace. Therefore, they are not about trying to uh, destroy those structures, but improve upon those structures. They are also about Americanizing. They want to take these new immigrants and eradicate the differences that they see from the old country to the new, to the new world. Uh, they are very pro-government, however, they do dislike political parties. They thought political parties were uh, seats of corruption. And so they largely use the government uh, in order to make law. They find that the best way to foment the reform will be through extensive laws. Therefore, they are also pro-class legislation. They are incorporating and fomenting law that is delegated towards certain classes, whether it be to children um, or to women. Particularly, they want to protect women and children uh, seemingly more than other groups. They are also about elite control, and this word uh, elite has a different connotation in today's society. By elite control, what I mean by this is that they are attempting to get people in control who are the best people for the job. So, uh, for an instance, uh, they would take a school board and they would make sure that school board had educators on it. Moreover, they would make sure that those who sat on the school board had actually been through the educational process. If they were going to form an agricultural board, they would make sure that there were farmers on it. They were making sure that the people who were um, on these commissions and bureaus were trained for those specific commissions and those specific bureaus. They wanted experts. They wanted people who knew what they were doing and the use of it to, for democratization and uh, eventually to move to centralization. Sometimes we call them muckrakers and those are the ones that we refer to as these journalists who want to expose particular evils of society. They use the very uh, popular magazine. Magazines were incredibly popular because they were one, inexpensive, uh, and two, something that you could get quite frequently. So they used uh, the Saturday Evening Post or the Ladies' Home Journal in order to expose meatpacking industries and so on and so forth. They also were interested in many issues, and uh, I will let you look through these on your own, but I hope this is a good start to understanding better who the progressives are. Please let me know if there's anything more that is needed about the progressives. They are a difficult group to understand, so... Um, I am happy to step in, and I am a, actually an expert on the progressive era, and that is where my primary research lies, is in the progressive, so I'll be happy to talk more about you, but I wanted to just uh, give you a few ideas as to who this group is when historians talk about it.